Hello YouTube. It's a wonderful rainy day here. And uh, the reason for this video, I tried to make a video yesterday and for some reason my uh, video editing software wouldn't work and it didn't save the video. So all that freaking BS for nothing. But um, and, and this time I got my phone upright. So whoever's go away Jay, which I find funny that you've made a group telling me to go away so that you could comment on my videos. Uh. I hope this is to your liking now, which should be all uniform and straight up and down, and you don't have to worry about turning your phone around or whatever device you're using to watch my videos. Not that you watch them anyway and pay attention to what's in it. And, and that's what I'm about to talk about today is, <clears throat> is, you know, I was talking with people yesterday online about, you know, atheists who, well, this one atheist in particular, who decided that, um, they didn't like Christianity anymore and that they wanted to be an atheist. And I asked him, and then as a lot of other people asked him, because we would like to know, you know, what made you, what made him decide to change from being a practicing Christian to an atheist? You know, what made you turn your back on God? And he didn't, you know, he didn't answer anybody. He all thought it was a joke. And, you know, and I asked him and I straight up asked him, you know, I said, what lie did the church tell that made you decide to turn your back on God? Well, I don't have to answer this, and I'm pretty much sick and tired of this line of bullshit, so I'm just done. I'm not going to answer you. Typical millennial response, which not even just millennial response. It's a typical response of anybody these days is they just don't want to. They just don't want to take the time to do anything that they need to do as a productive adult in the world. Um, or that they don't want to do. I mean, and it's it's like, come on now, we're adults now. We've grown up past the elementary stage of I don't want to attitude, you know? You have no choices in the matter. But when it comes to Christianity, you atheists who have decided to change from being a practicing Christian to believing in God and believing in God, to turning your back on him and saying that he doesn't exist and that you're going to go totally back on him and 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 say that, you know, and be, become a complete atheist. You know, I want to know what lie did the church tell you? Because somewhere down the line, you knew about, you know about, not knew, you know about his love. You know what his son did. You know what he did for us so that we could have eternal life and not live in damnation in hell. You know this. But yet you decide to change your back, to, to, to turn your back on him. And there's got to be a reason. There's got to be some. Somebody must have lied to you, or you must have been led astray or put into Christianity thinking that you were going to get whatever you wanted regardless of what you did in life. All you had to do was just tell God that this is what you wanted and God was going to give it to you. As long as you, you know, went to church and, 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 and said amen to all the memes that say amen if you want blessed and all that. You know, if that's what you think Christianity is, then, yeah, you you definitely were led astray there. Somebody, somebody fed you a line of bullshit. Because I'm going to tell you this right now. Christianity is not for the weak. Okay? When you're a Christian, you're going to find out that, yes, God has these lists of rules. But they're not that hard to follow. They're pretty much basic, simple, common sense rules, you know, mind you. But, <clears throat> but also at the same time, you also need to understand that when you say that you love God and that you are a Christian, the world's going to hate you. You're going to lose friends. You're going to lose spouses. You're going to lose family members. You're going to lose jobs. You're going to lose opportunities because you are a professed Christian. Because, and Jesus even said in the Bible, because they hated me first, they will hate you. 
So because the world hated God to begin with, if you say that you love God and that you follow God, well, the world's going to hate you. And you need to have strong conviction. You need to have a backbone. You need to know how to take your beatings in time. Because it's going to happen, whether it be physically, emotionally, it's going to happen. People are going to bully you. People are going to treat you like crap and get used to it. <clears throat> but also, it's a lot more than just going to church every Sunday and following whatever man, woman, or thing is behind the pulpit these days. Because if you think that what they're doing, if if you think Christianity is all about the mega churches and the Joel Olsteins, you're wrong and you're being led astray. If you think that um, churches are like these big, huge theaters with a female like Jane Myers or whatever the heck her name is standing up behind the pulpit. If you think that's what Christianity is, you're wrong. If the majority, if the entire, if the, if the entire leadership of the, of, of the church is made up of transsexual and homosexual people, that's not Christianity. These three examples that I have given you, these three examples, this is not Christianity. This is not church. This is not what God intended when he said that go out and, 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 and proclaim to the world who I am and, and, get, and, get, and, and, and teach the gospel. If that's what you think Christianity is, then you are weak. Atheists, if you were once Christians and turned your back on God, you are weak. You are weak, simple-minded fools. And I am saying this out of a place of love. Because Christianity is not for the weak. And if you fell for the lie that the church taught that the church told you that made you turn your back on him, then you are a fool for falling for that joke. You are gullible. You are a weak, gullible fool. Because God loves you. And no matter what the church tells you, no matter what the person behind the pulpit or on the stage says to you, look in his word. Look in the word of God and see if it matches up. See if what they're telling you matches up with what is in his word. And if it is not in his word, leave that church. Find yourself another church. Or do what I do. Just read the Bible. Discern it from yourself. Because today, the churches don't care about you. They don't care about saving lives and telling the truth. They just want to give you that feel-good gospel, that gospel that tickles your ears and makes you all happy. So they can fill their pews and fill their tithing plates, their coffers. I mean, you think the government's robbing us blind when, they, when with the taxes that they take from us when we're working? Church is robbing you blind, too, if you believe that the money you put in that plate every day, every Sunday, every week, is going towards the church building and not to line the pockets of those who run the church. I mean, look at Joel Olstein. You know that man is living fat off a cow. And yet, thousands upon thousands of people still flock to his churches and still put money in his coffers. 
Same thing with uh, <clears throat> Joyce Myers or whatever her name is. Who, who, the last time I saw anything about her, she, you know, decidedly decided that, oh, there's a, oh, look at Second Timothy, something about the woman not be not having to lead the church, and all of a sudden she's like, oh, I gave you the wrong, oh, look over there, and she just every all the lights go out, and 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 the congregation was told to leave. So she knew she was lying. She knew what she was about to tell the church would have left, would have would have emptied her pocketbook, and the church would have turned around and walked away from her. Those of them who were smart enough. But yes, you are weak. You atheists who were once Christians, you were weak. But it's not just atheists today. It's also it's also Anybody, pretty much. There's a point in time where, you know, you need to get up in life and you need to do certain things to make it in this life. To be an adult. You know, I grew up with certain morals and certain things that were supposed to go on in life. Certain steps you were supposed to take. You know... You're supposed to go through school, graduate high school, go to college, get a good job, have a family, have kids, work, grow old, pay taxes, and die. It's pretty much what I was taught. But now we've come to an age where people don't want to do the things that they need to do to be adults. They don't want to go out and get a job where they actually have to work. Same can be said about Christianity nowadays, you know. They don't want to go get a job where they actually have to work for the paycheck. They want to go get a job where they can just stand around and do whatever they want, be on their little phones, chat with their little friends, FaceTime and all that, do what they want to do and still get paid for it. And there are churches who do that too. They tell you that all you have to do is say, God, I want I want a $10,000 a week job. God, I want this brand new car. God, I want what that person has and God will give it to you because you asked him of it because he loves you and he, he wants his children to have what their heart desires. Right. Nowhere in the Bible have I read that. I've read in the Bible that <clears throat> if you follow his commandments, and ask with a pure heart, with good, with pure ideas in mind for what you're asking for, and that you have faith that he will answer your prayers, that he will answer your prayers. But you have to follow his commandments. You have to follow his rules. And that's just what like life is. You want that $20 an hour job, then you have to work for it. You want hours at your McDonald's or your KFC job? You want the hours? Then show the initiative and work for it. Follow the guidelines to get those hours. Don't just stand around and think it's going to get handed to you. As my mom always said to me growing up, life will not be handed to you on a silver platter. Unfortunately, not even five years after I was born that it seems people started, stopped teaching their children that and start letting their children do whatever they wanted. It's a sad, sad world we live in. It is. It's a sad, sad world. And one more thing. Before we l drop this at 15 minutes, you people right now that are posting on Facebook who are upset because California is going to ban the sale of Bibles, you're all butthurt about this. And I want to ask you, is that going to stop you from praising God and from reading his word? You know... You people who saying, how much longer do we have to be Christians? Fox News is good for this one. 
How much longer do we have in America to say that we are Christians? Really? What are you worried about? If you're a Christian, what are you worried about? Is that going to, if people say that you can't profess to be a Christian anymore, is that going to stop you from praising God? Is that going to stop you from saying to people that you are a Christian? These people who are saying that homosexuality is making us lose our Christian jobs and we're going to lose our Christian liberties and our rights. Is that going to stop you from, from, from being a Christian? From being a practicing Christian? Is that going to stop you? All you people who are afraid of this, pick up your Bible and read the book of Daniel. Read what Daniel had to go through as a pious man of God. Look what he had to go through, and then you tell me, you tell me how much whining you really should be doing. Because if you're whining about this, and this goes right back to what I was saying in the beginning, you are weak. Atheists who decided to turn to turn their back against God who were once atheists who were once Christians who decided to turn their back on God, you are weak. People who don't want to do what needs to be done to live an adult life, you are weak. Christians who are complaining that our liberties are being taken away and that we're no longer allowed to be Christians in the United States, you are weak. You people need to get up, shut up, follow God's word, and do what needs to be done. Because I am sick and tired of hearing all this pissing and moaning and crying and whining. God's there for you, but you got to fight for God. God will never give you more than you can handle. But you can't sit there and expect that God's going to wave his magic wand and everything's going to go away. We are going to be persecuted for him. And these rumors of war that you're hearing, that we're going to go to World War III because Donald Trump's going to, you know, push the nuclear button against Russia and whatnot, whatever. What are you worried about? Christians, what are you worried about? Because Jesus even said, these things must come to pass to make way for the coming of the Son of Man. So all you Christians who are pissing your panties right now because, oh my God, it's the end of the world, read up, pray up. Because these things must happen in order for God to come back and take his rightful place. Take his creation back from the humans who corrupted it. This has been Jay Joyner. Peace, love, God bless.